What's up, Zox fam? We're back with some more Sword of Convalaria. Now, we're going to be getting into something extremely important. You want to make sure you're not making the same mistakes that I made so that you're not utilizing this resource that is extremely rare. So what exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about the class skill tree, okay? Now, this is really, really important because the class skill tree is going to be something that essentially will define what role your character is going to be taking on the battlefield, right? Now, where exactly is that? If you click this tab right here it should open this up and this is something in the initial beginning that i seen and i was like okay you can probably do like some hybrid builds which is still true yes you can definitely still do hybrid builds to be able to give your character a little bit more versatility in what they do but one thing i didn't realize at the time was that each side is technically correlated to a specific class or career type now with that uh if you're looking at say the left side of this character which this is blade for example um the left side is going to be more damage focused right uh whereas the right side is going to be more evade focus so that entire side is all about movement evasion and uh just that entire mechanic whereas uh the left side is more focused on damage backstabbing um you know all that jazz right so depending on what i want blade to be doing which for me personally i actually like him to be more on the evasion side to get more usage or to go a hundred percent into that evasion build you're gonna want to select the stuff on the right now this also does apply for the other characters and i double checked this because i was like wait a minute like i thought it was kind of random on which side so you would pick the best of the two but it's actually more relative to what you want the character to be doing so initially i was like okay a little bit of evade with some damage might be great but because i'm not really taking full advantage of the left side i'm better off just going 100 percent to the right side right so if you're going to pick a side it's better for you to go with one side versus splitting it up unless there's a specific intent or a skill that is going to give you that hybrid build that makes sense but outside of that if it doesn't make sense don't do it right now the other reason why you want to be careful with this you might see some pieces that it shows not only the skill, but then you'll see here at the bottom, it's actually showing a, um, a orb right now. These are called power of comprehension, and these orbs are very, very rare. OK, these orbs are only obtainable via events, um, milestones. I think like we uh, only have gotten them so far from events, uh, and that's been from like the global launch events. Uh, but we're going to be getting a new event, and I think this is also one of the resources that will be there but this is a very very scarce and rare resource you do not want to waste these i think i've had a total of maybe four or five so far uh, and i've already gone back and i've used about three right uh, and that's because i've been trying to readjust my characters to be fitted to that one side so that they're more operable to that certain skill set right so what we're going to do right i'm going to go ahead and do it for my blade because i want him more on the evasion side so that's what we're going to actually go ahead and do now keep in mind this is also another important learning thing too uh, that once you do that uh, you don't have to worry about the middle node but just keep in mind try to stay to that side but when we go back right you have to go and you have to change the ability all right so that's the other important thing is that all your excess abilities will be stacked right here and you can see how many additional skills a character can learn which i'm assuming there's more that kind of goes into this as the game develops but we're going to go ahead and select this one and swap that one out so now we have the full evasion build for where he's currently at she's going to give him a lot more utility for what he does which is absolutely amazing right so we're taking full advantage of that um and that's essentially that right now if we go back to uh the skill tree um you'll see all lit up blue we're good right now i look at i'll show you guys a couple of other units right so that you guys don't think i'm lying uh now if we go to sasha here or barrel uh, as her global name is you'll notice that on the left side this is going to be more catered uh, to her being a fire mage um, whereas like for example this first ability is going to be a um, ability that kind of creates a fire barrier so characters that walk over or enemies that walk over it will you know take damage you can also deal damage to them with this uh, this is a damage increase uh, and then this is an ability that makes her resistance to fire so she herself can actually walk over these fire obstacles and not take 
take any of the damage, right? Um, and then the further up you go, this is going to be another flame or fire magic ability that she gains. Uh, and you see the trend here, right? Whereas the other side is a little bit more focused on like her being able to do some other magic abilities. Um, and of course, like being able to buff, uh, etc. Right. So, and I think she even gets like a heal at some point. I think, yeah, I think she actually gets a heal in her kit. So yeah, this is a little bit more like mage priestess, like in a way, like it's kind of weird, but again, she does have a completely different like alternate side. So she can either be damaged or she can be more like of a support, um, which again is going to emphasize why you want to stay on one side versus the other. Right. Uh, and I'll show you guys one more, right? One more, one more. Uh, now if we go and we take a look at my Leonid, right? So Leonid, same thing. Let's go to his skill tree. Now, uh, this side, and again, I'm going to be faced with the same dilemma. I might not uh, do anything with him right now, uh, but it's the same thing. Essentially, you get more buffing on this side, like self buffing. So he's able to tank and do certain things. Um, you know, this right here actually prevents uh, movement on a unit. So that's really, really potent um, to keep them from going away, like especially like the assassins and stuff like that. Uh, whereas this side's a little bit more um, to like the damage and stuff like that. So the one side is more protector, uh, whereas the other side is going to be more damage, essentially. Uh, and so just being aware of that is going to be really, really important. Um, but again, both the sides, you can mix and match. But just be aware that if you do decide to do that, it is going to cost you the power of comprehension, which you do not get a lot of. OK, so I definitely want to throw this video up because I know a lot of players have probably already started mixing and matching and their kits are probably not even tuned at all i promise you they're probably not so yeah that's pretty much that guys i hope that this was able to give you a better understanding uh like i said um you know it's not really too over complicated but just to be aware of that is going to really honestly help you fine tune your units much better um again i feel like the more diverse um you know diversified the game gets and the better we get at the game we'll be e even better at being able to make certain skills and understanding what at most we need on one side versus to the other but I would say the safest bet is to just stay on one side just to keep yourself in that specific career so you're not really missing out on anything that could really be emphasizing or amplifying that side, right? So that's pretty much that, guys. I hope that that, that was able to help uh, everyone. Definitely stay blessed. And yeah, stay charged up.